Hello! This is the Karma tutorial video. Karma is an external from Max that does very speed recording and playback of audio. So it does some complicated things, but we're going to start off with some of the basics. So I can sort of record, play, and stop audio with the record, play, and stop buttons here. I can go into overdub mode by hitting record again, and then I can come back out. Now while audio is playing back, or while I'm recording, as we'll see later, I can change the speed of playback, including reverse. There's a single outlet that tells you the current position of the record or playhead, the play and record state, the start position and milliseconds, the ending position, and the window size. size, 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 size. Okay. Up next we have the transport and logic tab. All recording and playback in Karma happens with just three messages. Record, play, and stop. So if I have some audio playing back, to start a new loop, I just hit record. Now I can end that loop by pinning play, and that'll just begin playback. I can start a new loop, and if I end that loop with hitting record, it'll go directly into overdub mode. Okay. And if I start a new loop, and if I end it with hitting stop, it'll stop playback, but it would have defined the loop points. Okay, and up next we've got play mode. So with audio playing back, if I hit record, I go into overdub mode. If I play, if I hit play, I actually just start replaying the loop from the beginning. All right, and hitting stop just stops playback. And finally we have overdub mode. So if audio is playing back, and if I hit record to go into overdub mode, hit record again, goes to playback mode. Now back in overdub mode, and if I hit play, I go back into play mode. And finally from overdub, hitting stop, stops playback. Here we have the very speed tab. In Karma, you can alter the record speed and the playback speed independently. So I can be recording my voice and alter the speed of it whilst that's happening. So I can be recording my voice. I can also alter the speed of it whilst it's playing back. The recording stage in Karma uses code from PA Tremblay's iPoke. So in combining these, you can produce some pretty interesting sounds. Overdub section. So with overdub, I can start recording any loop, and then immediately just start overdubbing something right on top of it. And on top of it. A little bit more on top. Really laying it on. In addition to overdubbing, we can actually replace the audio that's in the buffer already. So if we set the overdub parameter to zero, you can hear that instead of overdubbing, we're actually replacing what's in the buffer. Within Karma, you can play a subset of the recorded buffer using the position and window controls. Window controls, well, the window that you're playing, and position is the offset of that window. So using these two controls, I can play any part of the recorded buffer, including playing past the end of the buffer and into the beginning. Up next we've got the jump section. Using the jump message, I can jump around the buffer arbitrarily, and everything is declicked using Miller Puckett switch and ramp technique. So if I turn on the random jumping here, we can hear that we don't have any clicks at all.
And here we have the wraparound tab. Wraparound is something that happens whenever you're creating a new initial loop. So if I start playing some audio and start recording a loop, I can change direction in the middle of recording this loop and it'll carry on recording. Now if I go forward into the loop where I've not been before, it sets that as the new highest point. And at any point I can just define this loop. Alright, so if I start recording a new loop, now if I reverse past the zero point, it'll jump to the highest point I've been to. And I can change direction, go back forward into the future. I can reverse again. And then define the loop. Now if I start recording a loop while in reverse, it'll start recording from the end of the buffer. And the same thing applies. I can change direction. Go into an area of the loop that I've not been to before. And if I reverse past the highest point, it'll jump to the lowest point I've been to now. And I can define the loop. And it'll play that section of the buffer. So what should we do for this next one? Um, let's... Well, what do we do for the other sections? Well, we did a video and a video and a video. We did a text messaging thing. Yeah, with the photos. Yeah, That's we did a, an embedded Vimeo thing. Yep, use that up. Um, but each one has kind of been... has You know, it's had to do with that section that we're on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's this next section? Well, this one's a pen section. And what's that do? Well, let me show you. Okay, so with a pen mode, I can start recording something. Okay, and then if I hit append, I'll actually just go back into the sort of the initial loop creating mode. I can just add stuff to the end of it. So I can just keep adding little bits to the end of it, which is pretty handy. So that was a Karma tutorial video. I'd like to thank Raja for all his time and expertise in coding it. We've decided to release the external and the code for it in an open source manner, so you can download that on my webpage or the GitHub repo linked below. Thanks. Okay, that's it. Great. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. Hello, this is the Karma tutorial video.